And the Labour Party presidential candidate in the 2023 election, Peter Obi, has rejected the judgment of the presidential election petition court. Mr. Obi described the judgment as contemporaneous with justice, insisting he will exhaust every legal process available to him. Speaking with the newsmen in Onicha, Anambra State, Mr. Obi disregarded uh, the disagreed rather with the judgment, but praised the panel for delivering their judgment in the stipulated time frame. He revealed that his legal team has already received firm instructions to file an appeal against the PEPC's decision while expressing unwavering determination in his pursuit of justice. I'm joined now on the news by spokesperson of the Liberal Party campaign, Tanko Yunusa, for more on this development. Mr. Yunusa, thank you for joining us on the news at 10. We respect the ruling of the court, but disagree with it that um, the position of the Liberal Party presidential candidate, on what basis is your party challenging the judgment of the Court of Appeal? Well, for the simple fact that um, I've been in show before, before we started this case, the judges had made it very clear that they are going to treat this matter and deal with the substantiveness of the matter and that they are not going to deal with the issue of technicality. And our thinking was that, uh, since they know the challenges that we face with INEC right from the beginning, they made it very, very clear. So I don't know at what point in which the judges now started to look at technicalities. Because it is amazing to look at the level of which in which they advocate on the matter. All the fire judges, all the fire judges struck out this particular case based on technicalities, not on the merit of the case. What it does done for us is like you, they just institutionalize illegality, in, 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 from illegality, illegality on illegality, giving it room to believe that anybody can do anything and he can get away with it without any record to the, uh, to the Constitution. They use the cover of the Constitution as a cover-up to give their judgment. And that, of course, to us, is unacceptable because every Nigerian saw exactly what happened, especially even in Lagos. Yes, they may say that is that substantial enough to, to disqualify the, the, the elections. To us, it is because considering the fact that many people were annihilated and denied the right to vote, we came out with documents over 118,000 blood results which up to today, if you check on the IRF, you will find out that there are pictures of individuals, not even the results. But today, they have already also stretched it out and said that the electronic system in which we taxpayers have paid humongous money for is not useful. All right. So Mr. Therefore, Yudisa, let's attempt means... to break this down a bit further, because contrary to your position, the panel of justices yesterday unanimously stressed what they called the total lack of credible evidence adduced by uh, the petitioners to support their cases. They went on to say One that uh, Mr. Obi's argument was fallacious yes. and yes. ridiculous. Uh, contrary to your position, they're saying their judgment is based on law, not on technicalities or public pressure. Their position was not based on law. Let me give you a critical example. We brought that evidence to show that the election was mad and there was malpractices. And we brought out reports, reports from Channel Television, reports from various individuals who came out, who saw the election, and they saw the level of irregularities. You and I know there were ballot boxes, notice, there were intimidation, and there were even ethnic profiling. We are all Nigerians. We know what happened. So now these particular judges are not telling me that those particular evidence are not enough? No. No. It's totally unacceptable. What they just did this was to give impetus to gratify anybody who has done anything wrong in this country to take over position of leadership. And that, of course, is murdering our democracy. So what's your expectation from the Apex Court? Because the way I understand it, the Apex Court is going to go through the proceedings of the Appeal Court and no new evidences will be taken in uh, and no new witnesses will also be accepted. 
Add to that the fact that the APAPA faction of your party has formally accepted the verdict of the presidential election petition court. Uh, is that something that you are worried where, about? That is where you are making a mistake. We never have any faction. There is nowhere in the court or anywhere that pronounced anybody as chairman of the Labour Party, contrary to what we have as chairman of the Labour Party. That one is settled. If people are, are being paid to accept a defeat, which they know that is not correct, no, all well and fine. But as far as we are concerned, we expect the APS court to right the wrong right, because they cannot put the constitution of the Federal Republic in, of Nigeria in abeyance. The document we supplied is enough. We are expecting them to be fair to all concerned. There is no way that that particular those particular judges could say at a fiat level all of the all of the issues and evidence that were presented, all of them are false. It doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. Nowhere. It doesn't make sense. I guess we have to now uh, look at what you can make happen at the Supreme Court. Spokesperson of the Liberal Party campaign organization, Tanko Yunisa, thank you for talking to us on the news tonight. Thank you, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.